about in their say. And many of them were, of course, looking ahead to university, considering how independence might affect their future prospects. So let's discuss the whole issue of education and the priorities for young people generally in this, uh, this choice. I'm joined today by the Secretary of Edinburgh University's Conservative and Union Association, Ed Hughes, and Kelly Parry, who's finishing her year as President of Edinburgh College Students Association in a city that has, I think it's four universities, a huge number of students here, aren't there, Kelly? Yeah. So why? You want a yes vote, but why? Because Scotland already has control of education, doesn't it, under a devolved government. So what difference would a yes vote make, you think? I, I think that um, education has been incredibly successful in Scotland and they've got some of the best universities um, in the world. But I think that students aren't just students, they're also workers and they're also parents. I'm a parent and I'm also a worker. Um, so when I'm thinking ahead to um, September the 18th, I'm also thinking about um, welfare reforms. I'm also thinking about what it means in terms of employment and creating job op opportunities. And the way that certainly that I see it is that um, having full fiscal autonomy in the Scottish Parliament allows people in Scotland to make those decisions for themselves. So it's not just education, but on the subject of education, Ed, do you think it makes any difference, this vote? Uh, does it make any difference whether or not it stays part of the union or is independent? Oh, definitely. The funding issue has already been raised uh, significantly with universities. Uh, and then you, of course, have the EU issue of students, if they can, of course. Well, yes, let's explain this. Because under the EU rules, if Scotland were independent, students in the rest of the UK would be allowed to enjoy Scotland's free tuition. That's right, isn't it? Uh, I think yes, if it's got a word independent yeah. member state of the EU. And of course, that would uh, put a further burden of £150 million, pounds, I think, it's a specific of students coming to Scotland, because the surge would be, we'd all go, let's go to Scotland, it's free. Um, but that would, of course, put a huge burden already with a, a university system that has a £200 million pound deficit uh, annually. And the University of Scotland have said that this would be untenable, and even some of the SP literature. Uh, and into reports that there would be a short term funding crisis. Okay, so possibly a funding crisis, and also a shortage of places potentially for Scottish people, I suppose. If there's everyone in England or other parts of the UK thinks, I'll go up and enjoy free tuition, is that something you worry about? Uh, well, I think these kind of debates um, always bring home to me how fantastic our education system is in Scotland, and I'm incredibly proud that Scotland has free education. Um, I think there has already been a, a few um, options set out as to how we could um, get round the, the map of fees and, and, and English College of Scotland. Um, and, and I think we should still feel incredibly welcome. Um, but actually, I think the, the real matter here is that, is that English and Welsh students are getting charged fees. Um, they're getting charged some of the highest fees in Europe. So for me, the issue is actually um, charging tuition in the first place. If we were to get rid of those after independence, then actually we wouldn't be having this debate. Okay, and one quick word about um, international students as well, outside of the EU. I mean, is there an issue, do you think, about uh, the image of Scotland's universities? Does it change at all, do you think, if it's not part of the UK? Yes, there was a, a survey which showed 46% of students, international students, said they'd be less likely to come from independent Scotland. Uh, and you're saying uh, people, there was one person from Thailand, said people in Thailand are of the UK, not Scotland. They come to Scotland, and I think also students said that, I think it was 37%, so they, they would feel their degree would have a lower value uh, in an independent Scotland. And this is something that, if the perception is altered among students, you've got to think about employers as well. And something you were saying about uh, job opportunities, that if the perception changed there, then it would have a severe knock on effect, because then students would think if employers' perception has changed as well. Um, I think it's really interesting um, uh, to, to talk about international students, and I think one of the barriers that Scotland has at the moment is it doesn't have powers over immigration, um, and that can be a barrier um, to attracting um, international students at the moment. So, actually, in an independent Scotland where we had full powers over, um, over immigration policies, and um, I actually think that would be a, a positive thing for international students. Okay, and a quick word, Ed, we've talked a little bit uh, with Kelly about some of the other issues that she's thinking about voting on, we talked about welfare, for example. Is education the reason why you want to vote no, or what are the issues that, that assess you as a young person looking ahead to future generations in a future Scotland? Well, education is the main one for me being part of the education system, and so I have a, a long-term investment in that, and as Kelly pointed out, a quite a large monetary investment as well. But I think mainly there are the main economic issues uh, as well, and, and things the, question, the main question that comes to my mind is, is again the EU, and if Scotland had fought so hard for independence, why would it then want to surrender all its sovereign powers back up to the EU? Uh, which it doesn't seem to make much sense, and so it might cause friction with them. Okay, well, I'm going to leave, leave you two to carry on the debate in the sunshine here, outside Holyrood, outside the Scottish Parliament. Really nice to meet both of you, Ed and Kelly. Thanks very much Thank indeed. Uh, so lots more to come from us here, very shortly here at the Scottish Parliament in Edinburgh. But don't forget, there's lots more information as well 
on Sky News for iPad. And also you can take a look.